The tech industry brings thousands of transplants to Western Washington. It can be difficult to find community in a new city. We talked with a Microsoft employee who started a group chat to make connections. For this Cultivating Culture segment, I'm showing how he is now bringing hundreds together across Puget Sound. Have you ever held black brilliance? Defined as an intense brightness of light, exceptional talent, or intelligence, there's no shortage of brilliance in this room. And where y'all at? A space that was cultivated to celebrate black art, culture, and joy. Me and Jay Rachel started this a few years back, trying to just create this space for y'all to gather, meet people, and enjoy the art. As a new tech employee longing for community, Anthony Kerr created exactly what he needed. Say, neighbor, how you doing? I moved here in 2013 and I thought Seattle was just a, an incredible city with a lot of vibrancy. It was difficult to find the young black professional community uh, and some of the things that uh, I would do when I was in DC or I was like visiting New York or LA, etc., uh, just weren't quite as visible or didn't happen as often here. A group chat called Young Black Professionals of Seattle would spark that change. After several hangouts, it became clear he wasn't the only one craving community. At that point, I changed the name to The Collective because the, the purpose kind of evolved. But over time, it became uh, a place where people could create real friendships. Shut down in the house, what else we got? People found business partners, people found uh, connections to get new jobs. Come on, Baton Rouge, it's 225 day today. I'm from Baton Rouge. Seven years later, it's easier for transplants to cultivate those essential connections and relationships. As a black person new to this area, seeing this many shades of melanin in one place is an unusual but soul-warming sight. I am born and raised here in Seattle, and I want you to know that there is a black community here. There is black folks in Seattle, and I want to connect y'all to us. According to the most recent census, black people make up 4.5% of Washington's population. While that number seems small, the state is still rich in black culture. When you'll post an event at seven, it almost seems like almost immediately the event is sold out. What do you, what do you think that says? I, I think that's a, a testament to the energy people have to create community and uh, want to kind of find their circle. It's a cycle that doesn't end when the mic drops. The collective puts together a range of events from day parties to hikes with the goal that every person will have the opportunity to experience black joy. We want to make sure that whoever finds our community can live their fullest life in Seattle and make sure that this place is not just like a, a pit stop on their, uh, their life journey. I see some black love up in the dancery. Black poets, black businesses, yeah. Give yourselves a round of applause, it's beautiful. The collective event tickets are usually around $20 in an effort to keep things affordable. To find out more about these events, scan the QR code on your screen. It will also link you to other Cultivating Culture stories. I know the collective was one of the first places that you went to and visited. I think the first week you moved here from Seattle, from South Carolina, I'm wondering what kind of impact has that had on you to be able to find community and find a sense of belonging in a place where, a state where, the, like you said, 4% of black people here compared to a much higher percentage where you um, moved from. Right, the place I moved from, I would yeah. say maybe around 23%. So yeah. that just shows you the difference. So. Upon arriving here, that meant everything to me. I was already a little nervous, so someone recommended the collective when I made a post announcing I was moving to Seattle and I wanted to be able to make friends because you hear about things like the Seattle freeze, you just don't know. <laughs> so moving here on a Sunday, I went to my first collective event on that Saturday and the people I met there, I'm still friends with today. So it definitely, what they're doing, it, it definitely works. Mm -hmm. And there's so many new people moving here to the Seattle area for work that having stories like this that expose and raise awareness that there is community out there and it is strong. You just have to find it, right? Exactly, and it's so important. Like, he works at Microsoft, so, you know, that 
is a huge reach in itself. So yeah. now it's becoming to the point where you know new people come to the company, and of course they are looking to him as a way to make sure that they are able to live their best life here and not feel like it's just you know a place to check off. It's a place where they want to stay and they want to build roots. Yeah. Being able to bring your full self to the table is so important. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of your stories this week.